Okay, let's uh, keep going here. Now I know where the hell to go, which is nice. <laughs> let's see. Okay, so. Let me go over here. Alright. That's the main corridor. I need to go to that. I guess I need to climb up. Yeah. Yeah, I think I need to do that before I do anything. I think I already explored everything that this place has to offer up to now, so I just want to go upstairs. Yeah, so let's do that. Right, here comes my compulsive map checking again. Claws, go away, I don't care. I'm just glad I'm running easily from these enemies. Whoa, that wasn't good at all. See the game glitch out a little bit there? That's, that's no good. I haven't had this uh, game since 2005, so <laughs> I imagine it's, I mean, I'm shocked that it still works properly. <laughs> boss trolls, go away. No, come on, you can't run from boss trolls who are slow as hell. See, look at that, man, how am I going to be, I mean, if I really wanted to use my party to face these guys, I would have to psych up, I would have to buff my players, I would have to do all that crap just to, just to stand a chance, I mean... Why? It's almost like the game forces you to make a monster team and to use it in battle almost. That's the that's the uh, vibe I get. I mean, it's my only gripe about this game is that I guess ever since Dragon Quest IV, that's when they really started to say, "Let's make all the end game enemies disgustingly hard." You know, it's like, come on, man. Like, is that really necessary? Alright, well, let's go ahead and uh, get some treasure here. Nice. Lots of barrels. Alright, let's go Donkey Kong on these guys right here. Yeah, I could use Donkey Kong right now. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that's a lot of barrels. Oh, damn. I think Governor getting some exercise here. Got a prayer ring, nice. That will be good for a place like this. Yeah, defense seed, nice. I'll give that to Jessica. Twelve hundred dollars. I don't really care, but that's cool, anyways. Or Saint's ashes, nice. You can just find them in a random barrel. That's pretty badass. <laughs> And a jostle leaf, there you go, that's what's up. Man, this treasure room really prepares you for rat thorn. Orichalcum, just random or orichalcum. Hard cheese will uh, cast a kabuff on your players. Which I would, I guess, kind of nice. Icicle Dirk. Not bad. Probably just use that in alchemy. You can't really do anything with it right now. I mean, whatever. I don't know why you'd want to use it. Cured cheese. I think that uh, heals all your players. And yeah, I got some rock salt. Cool. Nice. Let's see. Let's see how much more treasure there's left. There's probably a whole ton. That's probably good. Only five more. Huh. Well, damn. That's, that's kind of weak. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Let's just do some more exploring. Oh. Ooh, pretty statue of a, uh, looks like Sato from uh, Final Fantasy VII. Who is Sato from Final Fantasy VII? <laughs> or Sito, or Seto, or whatever the hell you want to call him. I don't know, all the pronunciations of these names are ridiculous. Oh look, Red's gonna start crying now. It's, it's gonna start crying for Red. <laughs> Speaking of Final Fantasy VII, I really do need to, uh... Oh, cool. Oh, wait. Oh, okay, good. Well, get a little shortcut here. We don't have to go all the way around like we did before. Oh, caper, Urza, and Claws. Care. Go away. See there, I'd probably just cycle up with Jessica a couple times and use a uh, kaboom and destroy all the cap caperers and have everyone attack the uh, 
what do you call it, the uh, spikes, or whatever they're called, the talons, claws. But I don't really care about that. Alright, so now we gotta go this way. Alright. Compulsive map checking for the win. Oh, I need to flip another switch. Crap. Uh, wait. How does that work? Oh, mm -hmm. Alright then. What the hell? Hmm? I think I have to go through that little main entrance and then go around again. This sucks. I feel like I'm doing this blind. I should have should have rehearsed this. Oh well. Hope I'm making this slightly entertaining. Huh. Well, I doubt it. There you go. Encounter an enemy. And encounter enemies while walking in place. That's the way. Run to a wall, encounter an enemy. Awesome. Alright, let's see. Alright. I got that statue blocking that uh, exit over there, that entrance. Let's see what else we got. God, this place is a giant maze of doom, man. I hate. I do not like dungeons like this. I prefer uh, Yang's Challenge Dungeon in Final Fantasy IV The After Years, where you just kind of uh, go in a straight line and fight enemies. It's awesome. Love those types of dungeons. I don't like, little, I don't like mazes. Mazes suck. Unless, like, uh. Unless it's like. Unless there's, there's a gimmick where you get, like, a prize if you do it. A certain amount of time, like that's pretty cool. Like, that I don't mind. But... Nice, got a dark robe. Cool. Let's see what that dark robe is. Let's see what it's all, what it's all about here. Wow, 87 defense power. Jeez. Let's see. Ah, and uh, Yangus can equip it. Cool. Yeah, but then you got the Gigant armor, which yeah, I don't think Yangus needs to. Avoid physicals. I think I think he's good on that. I think he's I think his defense power is is good enough. I think he's a I think he's good enough as a heavily armored player. That'd be great for Jessica, but uh, don't have Jessica. Jessica can't do a bit. Lame. Claws, babongas, claws. I don't care. I said I don't care. Ooh. Let me run, jerks. And Angela takes 45 damage. Jeez. Oh my god. Yeah, see? Yeah, man. How you gonna, how are you gonna contend against that without healing constantly? And bu and, and psyching up and buffing your players using magic and stuff like that. Then again, you do get, you know, almost unlimited access to magic potions and prayer rings and stuff. I mean, it's easy enough to win casino money, and then you can buy it with casino money. So I guess they do make it, like... But it's more annoying than challenging. Like, there's challenging, there's annoying, you know, and then there's the Seventh Saga. <laughs> I don't know what I think about that game. <sighs> Dragon Quest Two on steroids. <laughs> Speaking of Dragon Quest Two. Probably gonna play that game and Dragon Quest One in the near future. All right, so back at the main entrance here. I think I need to go all the way to the right. I don't think I've gotten there yet. I think we need to do that first before anything. Or I need to find a way to move that one platform. Let's see. Yeah, because... Yeah. How do we do that? That's the problem. Let's see. Let me go up here. See what I mean? Oh, what, what? Oh, yeah. See? Yeah. Oh, 
Oh, okay, now I get it. There's the uh, Sato statue again. Boss trolls that I don't care about. And it's only two of them, though. I suppose the game isn't that overwhelming with the enemies. Especially in this area, I mean, yeah. I mean, it's two powerful enemies that take a long time to kill, but, you know, they have low defense power. All they do is physicals, they don't do any, like, group attacks where, like, everyone gets, everyone gets, like, destroyed for, like, 800 damage. Huh. You know, nothing crazy like that. Let's see. This sucks, I'm completely lost. It's not like I'm completely lost, it's just that, like, I don't know where the hell we go. Oh, here's the giant treasure trove of doom here. Alright. Okay, now, I think we have to go somewhere else. Yeah. Here we go. So I was distracted, it was a detour. Makes sense. But at least I flipped that switch to go to the, uh, to go directly to that second floor there. So we don't have to worry about it. Which is good because then I'll be able to, I'll be able to zoom out of here, or evac out of here and not worry about having to retrace all my steps, which is pretty nice, I'm not gonna lie. It's, I'm glad they did that. It's very, very nice. That's the way a final area should be done, you know? The foul fighters, don't really care about. Yeah, whatever, I'll go ahead and demonstrate them anyways. It's been a while since I fought an actual fight. I mean, on camera. Or, in general. I've been running from all, since it's all enemies that I've fought before. Oh. I hope uh, Archfiend uses Kaboom instead of Insulator, which would be completely irrelevant to use. Wow, Foul Fighter can use thin air, damn. Boom, take out the claws, nice. And yeah, Fuddle ain't gonna do anything. You used Insulator, I swear to God. Unbelievable. I don't want Archfiend so I can use a boom, but I think we gotta swap him out for no heat this way. And actually get some offense in instead of just now he uses kaboom. Cool. Yeah, at least he used it. Yeah. <clears throat> oh they have one more turn, okay. I thought they were done. So this like all the other enemies, a foul fighter has about 300 hit points. So I guess you can expect these enemies to have about 300, 400 hit points a pop. Makes sense, I guess. Like how the and like how the monster team's doing all the dirty work, and yet and yet we're collecting all the XP. Wow, it's all the way to the top here. What we got another treasure chest. Some more orichalcum. Jeez, how much orichalcum did you get? And that's all. And that's what? And that's it? Just orichalcum? Oh, I guess so. All right. Well. Oh, come on, game. I swear to God, I hate you. Haha, <laughs> the boss troll didn't uh, didn't act. I like it. I love it. Alright, well, damn. That's a waste of time, almost. Uh, let's see. In 14 minutes. It would take me, like, much longer to... I was thinking maybe I should evac and then keep going or just end. Yeah, I think I'm just going to stop recording at this point. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to do some stuff off screen. Uh, you use my use stat, stat enhancers and stuff like that and sell this stuff. Uh, see what other upgrades I can buy. Although it's not what I think it's going to matter at this point. But whatever. Um, yeah, and then we'll just uh, continue exploring the Black Citadel. Look for Rapthorn some more. 
next time on Dragon Quest VIII, No Alchemy Run. This is the big Jew telling you to keep being awesome. Peace.